Howdy folks, today I want to explore soft start modules. In my opinion, a uh, woefully underpopulated product space. Specifically today, we'll be looking at the ubiquitous and cheap Hitachi 371-468, which was designed for Hitachi's C10RJ table saw, along with the Raymond Innovations, or also known as uh, Inno Raymond, much more expensive and much more robust GS11 standalone unit. So just to be clear, I'm not sponsored by either Hitachi or Raymond Innovations. I bought both of the modules I'm testing today with my own money and the test results you'll see here are real. So before we go too far, why do I even care about soft starters? Well, to start with, the inrush current on my chop saw trips the breaker on the outlet most convenient to where I wanna use it. And if I run an extension cord to a happier outlet, it's still a bit jumpy, if not outright terrifying on startup. So let's start our adventure with the Hitachi module. As this unit is designed to be hardwired as part of a table saw, we have to take the top of the chop saw apart to properly place it in the circuit. Now, this could be good or bad. On the plus side, if the module is wired impermanently, the saw is just better with no extra external components to lose. On the other hand, you have to open the thing up and rewire it, so bye-bye warranty and hello electrical safety concerns. Further, we're talking about adding a component known for generating a non-trivial amount of heat to a small wiring box, which is probably also a terrible idea. Finally, even though it looks like the module will tuck down in that pocket right there, it actually doesn't really fit. So, okay, now that it's all installed, let's see how it works. First on the weak outlet that always trips. Well, that's kind of interesting. It didn't trip, but it didn't work either. I'm going to have to call that a uh, categorical failure. So next, let's try the extension cord over to the outlet that does work. All right, that came up to speed pretty quickly. Not as jumpy, but still not what I would call smooth by any means. But it definitely does the job. So now let's open up the uh, Raymond Innovations GS11. First thing I noticed here is quality packaging. The Hitachi came in basically a sandwich bag shoved into an Amazon padded envelope, whereas, you know, at a much higher price point, you can afford a, a decent box for the thing. The unit itself has some heft to it and the power cord is quite substantial, as you would expect being rated for 20 amps. Now, of course, I forgot when I ordered the thing that uh, 20 amp cords have a twisted prong so they won't plug into a standard 15, ounce, 15 amp home outlet. So we waited a couple of days for Amazon to ship me an adapter and now we can get to testing. Now that is much smoother. I'm not gonna complain at all about that. So the real question here now is, is the Inno Raymond module worth 20 times the price of the Hitachi? That is a big, big difference. In my opinion, if this is something you're really going to use, yes, it is. You don't have to void the warranty on your saw or screw up its electrical or thermal properties that some engineers spend a lot of time working on. The startup is much smoother. It's also substantially easier to move the thing between devices if you've got multiple saws or routers or things like that that you'd like to use it with. And finally, on the, uh, on the softer side of things, Raymond Innovations is a small American company who is very transparent about their manufacturing process. You should uh, check out their YouTube videos. I'll link them down in the description. And also their, uh, their support is uh, surprisingly responsive, both on YouTube and over email, which has been pretty cool. So now I wouldn't recommend that most home gamers shell out the uh, $140 for the 20 amp unlimited duty cycle GS11 here. Uh, personally, I tend to over provision whenever I'm spending more than $10. Uh, most folks will do fine with the uh, 15 amp uh, medium duty C10, which is only $60. I'll link both of those modules in the description below, along with the Hitachi if you're on a uh, shoestring budget and trust your utility power, field engineering skills, and uh, home insurance policy to be better than mine. So that's what we've got for today, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.